Time to talk Super Bowl commercials. Gentlemen, we'll start with a favorite here. I think it was a down year. This is my opinion. Lomas, your favorite. Career Builders Monkeys. I love that. I like how responsible the first car monkeys was. They carpooled. <laughs> the second car with the one monkey in there, he's not a responsible driver because he didn't carpool. So I love the monkeys carpooling in this one right here. All right, John? I really like the Volkswagen Passat. Uh, the little Darth Vader um, <laughs> going around the house trying to use the force on, on ordinary objects, none of which uh, wielded to his power, and then he goes out and tries it on his dad's Passat. All of a sudden, it shows that even a young Sith can be redeemed uh, as, as he shown the light. The look from the, the dad is pretty shirt. good. I thought it was so, it was heartwarming and funny, and it also threw in some Star Wars, which I'm a big fan of. All right, uh, my, I think we're on to my favorite was towards the end and it was good. It redeemed the commercials for me. It was a Pepsi Max commercial. It was the first date where the girl is thinking her own thoughts and the guy keeps thinking the same thought. I, it was, I think it's actually what happens on first date. So I think it was very, it was very creative and clever. Skip. Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll go. If it, uh, oh. Okay, I'll go. I, my my overriding thought here was I did think it was a down year. I was surprised at how far they pushed the envelope this year. There were a lot of like very risque commercials. The one with Faith Hill yeah. and yeah. the flower. I love that yeah. one. But this was yeah. my favorite. The Dorito dust that brings Grandpa back. Oh yeah. I just love yeah. it. it. It was it was absolutely priceless. And I thought Doritos. I thought they were the big winner because they had two or three of them that yeah. really stood out for me. That was, that was Skip, troubling to me, that one. Yeah, yeah I, I know you thought it was a little yeah. gross yeah. and morbid. Yeah. I thought Skip, what it was, was your favorite? Those were all mildly amusing, but I, I thought the <laughs> most clever commercial was the NFL I, it spot. Was. You know, it was, I agree you, with you. You got the callbacks yeah. to all the great old shows, yeah. Yeah. bringing them into the yeah. present with the family guy. <laughs> it just called 9210 a great old show. Well, well it was, <laughs> but, I mean, the Brady Bunch is classic. Yeah. 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 The, there were hey, hey, Jay, if we can get the Fonz to wa uh, wrap it up. Anything with the Fonz in it is I mean, this was this took some work. It was you know the, the house spots were good for Fox. They yes. had all the NFL yes, the players house saying, ones. "This is our house." They had the Mean house. Joe Green one. Yeah, they, they spooked yeah. Mean Joe Green, and he threw the cane and at him. But I thought I thought the house oh. spots were very clever. Yeah. We even yeah. saw Marsha get hit with the football. I know that was a bad. Oh my nose! Yeah, all the yeah. little football. Deacon Jones didn't he sing on an, on an episode yeah. of the Brady Bunch? Did that you was, have a lease? Well, yeah, it was kind of disturbing licking another man's finger with the Dorito. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought that was too. That was kind of disturbing, right there. And then he licked the Dorito dust off that guy's pants. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. Yeah, that didn't work for me. Also. My, mine, I, I felt it was really in poor taste, the Groupon.com commercial where Timothy Hutton was on there oh. yeah. talking yeah. about how gorgeous Tibet was, but that they were in trouble. Yeah, Tibet got invaded by the People's Liberation Army from China <laughs> in 1950. Yeah. Now their culture is dying. People are being brutalized and murdered. Yeah. Their, cult, it, it, their world the is, is being destroyed. But hey, they whip up a great fish curry. And guess what? We saved money at a restaurant in Chicago that serves Tibetan food. It crossed food. a line. Yeah. It really it's did. Humor. Yep. I thought the first Bud commercial was actually really bad in the house. You know, I love that one with the, the kitchen remodeling. One, I hated it. Uh, I was what? like, that's the Bud commercial. Wow, that's the best they can do. Oh, I, I think this, did the guys like it? Did, I, I, I loved thought it. it was pretty good. Yeah. I like the I like. That's the my product. idea of the perfectly remodeled kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I like the product placement Bud Light commercial. Oh yeah, the, 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 the direct yeah. wash buckling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that one better. <laughs> All right. Skip, do you have any thoughts on the Bud Light kitchen remodeling deal? No, I don't. I just want to chime in with Dana. This was the worst overall batch of Super Bowl yeah. commercials I can ever. Yeah, I, well, I, I was so excited for them and yeah. let down. Yeah. It time and again. Yeah. Money. I, ch again. I chuckled yeah. out loud a few times. I did thought it was pretty good. Did you guys like yeah. the Faith Hill? The, the, the I one really I, liked that. Yeah, I, I like thought that GL was clever. It was, might Hill. have been almost my favorite. You know, like Bridgestone Tires had a couple creative ones. Remember the guy sends Scream. the email and then he yes. yeah. reply yes. all. Oh, you didn't get reply one. all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one other one I'd like to th throw out there. I thought Eminem is a pitch man. Yeah. Yes. Works for me. Yes. Yeah. And it's about yes. time. Absolutely. And I thought the ad was tastefully yes. done. And. And Kudos to Chrysler for using the Detroit the icon of Eminem. I think it might have been the longest yeah. commercial, too. So I think it was a lot yeah. of money. Yeah, that was an animated one. one, too, that it wasn't actually yeah. him. Yeah, and he had the iced tea. I mean, yeah. good, good yeah. for him.